Hey everyone, welcome. This is going to be a brief video on what, how I deal with scents. Now you're going to hear a lot of, th if you're a beginner hunter or even an intermediate hunter, you're going to hear a ton of information, get a ton of information thrown at you, if, especially if you watch um, these hunting shows or YouTube um, or anything like that. You're going to get a ton of information thrown at you in marketing for scents. Um, either, you know, doe and heat scent or buck scent or whatever. There's all sorts of things now. There's even stuff for rubs and so forth. Um, that's fine for some people, but um, after years and years and years and years of, of buying some of that stuff and, and seeing the results in the field, um, for the most part, I find it to be incon inconclusive. Um, I do, however, have one scent that I kind of like, and it's called Deer Calm. And what that is, is I think it's um, uh, taken from the gland of the animal, so when they walk, they leave a scent. I think that's where it's from. But basically, it's supposed to uh, simulate um, bedding deer or relaxed deer. That's probably the only one I kind of go to. I, I tend not to use... Um, doe and heat stuff at all. I find it to be, like I said, um, it doesn't really help the situation. What I go for is scent free. And then from there, if I think it's worth it, depending on the situation, I'll use something like that. And again, that's more of a calming scent. It's not an attractor. It's more of theoretically capturing uh, some sort of scent that when a deer walks in, it's like, hey, there's either deer here or they're relaxed or, or something. Now again, having said that, I'm not too super confident in its ability. So I'm saying this with a very with a high degree of uh, caution here. Uh, I'm not saying go out and buy that, um, but if you remain scent free, you're good to go in my opinion. What I do use for attractant, what I do use is late season late season muzzle loader or um, uh, late season rifle, um, I do think that if you use an attractant like white acorn, I think of it this way. If there's zero white acorns left, if it's late in the season or even if there's snow on the ground, if you use that stuff, it's not necessarily going to alarm the deer. And here's my thought process, and I could be wrong, but here's my thought process on that. If you're really, really, really hungry, <laughs> and your favorite food is downwind of you or something like along those lines, even though you know it's not likely you're going to have it, it's going to pique your interest on some level, especially on an animalistic level. Now, an old, weary buck might not care too much about it, but there's a chance that he will. If he's with a doe, if it's late season where he's trying to, you know, recuperate from, from the rut, uh, usually there's a secondary rut in Maine, so he might not be completely convinced of, of, of um, food yet, but there might be a chance that he might or a smaller buck might circle back and say, hey, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little hungry and I didn't know that tree was there. Could be a deer walking through, going to a deer yard. Who knows? And smell that and say, hey, you know, here's a quick meal. So I usually set that up downwind. Um, try to find the, the most natural products possible. This year is probably the year that I'm going to use it more on a professional level. I actually have, I'm going to walk out of, I'm going to walk out of view real quick, but I bought this. Um, I wasn't expecting to show this, so I apologize for almost walking out of view. This is actually a, um, it, it, ex it extracts oils out of nuts. Now, this is, you might think this, John, just get one of those, you know, pre-manufactured, uh, pre either mass-produced, um, essence of, of white acorn and just call it good. Well, after further research, I find that this is going to be not only more affordable for myself, um, but it's actually going to be a stronger scent and something I can regulate. So if I can extract some white acorn oils and then use it 
uh, when it when there's basically no food out there and they're scurrying around, I think I'm going to increase my chances tremendously. Now you can take your chance on the mass-produced aerosols and uh, wicks or or even the scent wafers, but in order for me, in my mind, to get where I want to go, I'm probably going to use those oils and maybe even cotton balls. You know, soak the cotton balls out, let them, you know, gather in the air. Um, hopefully it'll, it'll, you know, because it's oil, it might not freeze as quick. So it's something to think about. Um, it's obviously something I thought about, and I'm probably going to do um, in the next few weeks um, to try to extract some oils out of some acorns, put in a nice little vial, and then if I have to hunt in the late season, which I hope my season ends quickly with a nice deer, um, I'll have something in my back pocket. So that's just something to think about. I use, I use, the only attractant I truly use nowadays is going to be a food attractant. And um, if you do purchase, getting back to the latest and greatest uh, dough and heat scent, I mean, buyer beware, to be honest with you. Um, I've seen too much um, information out there, and there's very few manufacturers that actually brag about doing it the right way or having that product. I'm extremely skeptical of the process, um, but I'm sure there's someone out there that might charge a lot more money than what the national brands have that actually might do that. So just buyer beware. This is not a silver bullet. You're going to hear at times where it worked perfectly. But more times than not, it's, it's a... I don't know if it increases your chances, to be honest with you. And the only way I think, uh, the reason why I recommend maybe a late season fragrance because it, it deals with their stomach and that kind of deals with potentially more deer than just dough and heat scent. So think about it, uh, kick it around, but primarily stay scent free and that's the most important part. So hopefully you enjoyed my video and thank you for watching. Pushing on the forest floor, my heart rate jumps even more. Looking for the buck to fill my bag, straight out of a hunting bag. Drop time 14, making his way down. It's time for his last showdown. Breathe in, breathe out, hold it. Fire away.